to my uh, cousin Marina and her husband Jimmy. We're living in Tarbert in Harold Harris. We're going to go to the beach and then we're going to go to my auntie Elmer and uncle Callum's place and also meet my other cousin Elizabeth who's come over from Glasgow who I was originally going to stay with but she's over in the islands now so I won't be staying in Glasgow. I will be going straight from Inverness after Jackie and Gary's to uh, the Lake District, the Lake Windermere. So this is Tarbert. Me and uh, Marina went for a walk around this morning. Covered in mist, but thankfully the sun's come out a bit, which is uh, quite unusual. Um, and it's cleared the mist up so we can actually see some lovely scenery. And that's where we came in last night, on the dock, the ferry. We're not going back that way, we're going to be going up to Stornoway tomorrow morning. So we're actually going to be riding, I'd imagine, a little bit in the dark because I've got to leave at quarter past five at the latest to get to the ferry because it sells at seven, you've got to arrive about an hour early. So yeah, see some views today. Just getting used to the bike weight again because I've got no weight in the back of the bike now, so just got to get used to the balance. Oh, so yeah, so that's Tarbert. Coming in yesterday, couldn't see a thing because of the mist, but now clear. Lovely little village, absolutely gorgeous. Bike's still running great. Watch out for cows, okay. Thankfully the weather's held off, so I'm, uh, I'm a bit blessed. It might be a bit rainy tomorrow though, so I might have to put my waterproof pants on. Left it a bit late last night putting the bike cover on, so I went out to the bike and the bike was just covered in uh, dew. So I wiped it all off, put the cover on. Jobs are good. Because my baby lives in a garage, he doesn't live in that in the open. I think what I'll do tomorrow morning is uh, crack out the uh, winter gloves because I'd imagine at five o'clock in the morning it's going to be uh, a bit nippy and I've been told to watch out for sheep and deer especially deer there's a lot of deer apparently on the islands didn't know that and they all like to uh, stand by the side of the road because apparently when vehicles pass the air blows the uh, midges away and it also it you know the animals like to come and stand by the side of the road to get a bit of respite from the midges. The midges weren't so bad down in uh, Tanilt and Oban in Argyllshire. Um, Argyll and Butte, sorry. Um, but last night, as soon as I stopped and got the helmet off, I was like, attacked by a million of them.
the scenery is just stunning. Everyone's so friendly. So this one's quite narrow, single track road. Got to watch out for loose uh, stone chippings. Looks like it's just been regravelled a few months, a few weeks ago, maybe. Morning.
Oh, it was a single track road, then we've got to turn around and come back again. the beach. I'm not sure if this was the beach that we went to 35 years ago for a barbecue and dancing on the beach with the kids. I remember going on a coach with all my cousins and my brother to the beach with a big fire and barbecue and music and all sorts. But I have the memory of a goldfish so it's all just a distant memory for me. Oh, should we go over the top? Let's go over the top. <sighs> Weather up here is... Right, okay, it's a bit misty. It's very mild. It's comfortable, which is nice, as compared to the last few days of the impressive heat. Uh, 27 degrees. 26, 27 degrees on the mainland in Scotland. There's like 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 in England. Uh, but yeah, here we go. How you doing? Yeah, good, thank you. Not bad, not bad, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. A lot of stones. There we go. Now you guys can see. Single track road to the beach that was. My god, that was a blast from the past. How they got a coach down here, I can't I don't know. It was really quite warm on that beach as well. I mean, I can certainly see why people were just wearing shorts and bathing costumes. Well, okay, so that's the beach done. Brought back a few memories, that did. Now we're off to Auntie Elmer's and Un Uncle Callum's to meet Elizabeth and I think my cousin Callum says he's coming over as well so that should be fun never met Callum, young Callum oh, another biker Okay, we're coming back towards Tarbot now, and then we're off down to, uh, well, up to Laxey to see my uh, more relatives. Jimmy and Marina in front of me, showing me the way. Oh, there's Tarbert. The 
mist back again, the mist. We're not stopping here, we're carrying on. So we're out with a bit of a walk this morning. This is the old BT British Telecom. This is the new, that's the fire station, new fire station. This is the new primary and secondary school. There's a swimming pool. Nice, big, lovely building. They've got a football pitch as well, which overlooks the sea, which you'll see in a second. There you go. And the football pitch overlooks that. Not bad, eh? Yep, the temperatures really dropped now, it's quite cold. Mustn't grumble. Got a really big day tomorrow. I've got to go from here to Stornoway, catch the ferry across to Alapool, and then from Alapool, I'm going to go up and around the north coast to get to John O'Groats. And then from John O'Groats down to Inverness for Jackie and Gary. So yeah, big day on the bike tomorrow. <clears throat> now we're going up the mountain. Maybe sixth gear was a bit ambitious. Even fifth gear, struggling a bit, chuntering away. Down to fourth. Okay, visibility's dropping a bit. Thank you, Jimmy, for putting your lights on. I might put my warm gloves on on the way back and do my uh, my arms up. I'm not going to take my hands off the controls because it looks like there's a sheer drop over the side there. I can't tell because of the uh, the mist. Yeah, that's a long way down. Yep. Oh wait a minute, there's water there. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think it was water. I only caught a glimpse. I was not too sure. Could be a precipice. It could be a lock just there. I, I can't. I can't tell. snow poles can't see a thing okay we're dropping out the out of the uh, clouds wow nice views get a little feel the warmth again not a great deal but a little bit more warm was a bit nippy going through the clouds not gonna lie Okay, Google Street View, down these roads, does not really do it justice. Actually being here and living it and doing it in person. I know everybody takes their surroundings for granted. When, when you lived in an area long enough, it's just like, you get so used to it. But, you know, you, you take a city boy out of the city and put him in the wilderness and be like, wow. For someone in the wilderness in a city and they're like, wow. 
uh, I just caught a glimpse of the uh, b behind me all the uh, mist on the hills but I, didn't, I can't turn around to look at it because I'm obviously riding but yeah just gone in that's a long way down yeah that's probably six seven hundred feet if not more Nice relaxing ride. Yeah. Just cut the road out the side of the mountain. Oh. Wowzer. And there's me thinking uh, Paris and Lewis were flat as a pancake. Wow. Okay, let's slow it down. Interesting. Okay, I've got to be careful. Got to remind me be careful of this in the morning tomorrow. It could be wet and it could be dark and it could be deers on the road. So I just have to be careful. Another Dutch car. Yep. Yep. Definitely got to be very careful tomorrow morning on this part of the road. I'm not going to be a hero and pin it. I'm on a Harley. I'm not supposed to be doing heroic things. I'm on a Harley. I'm supposed to be riding slow. Slow enough so as I ride past a sheep, I can do some portrait photography. <laughs> Big ginger man! Big ginger man. Huh. I wonder what kind of place they were. White with red letters. Stop recording. A little bit warmer now. 
just come down out of the mountains into the hills heading north towards Stornoway and at some point along this road we shall be pulling over into a small village hamlet of Laxey for a family meet greet A lot of dead trees here. I didn't know there were forests. These must all be uh, forestry commission forests. I really didn't think there was any trees on them. On the island. It just goes to show how much one's mind plays tricks on you. Uh, the van right up my ass. Now we're uh, at the mountains and we're just surrounded by the lumpy bits. Okay, we're in Laxey. Laxey, Laxey. So somewhere along here. I think that might be it there, maybe. I don't know, I just have a uh, very fair memory of uh, what house they lived in. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh well. Let's take it nice and easy. This will be interesting. Now that's the house I remember. Be careful. Oh, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. Just down the middle. GoPro stop recording. Okay, excellent family time there. That was uh, that was a lot of fun. It's great to see them, really was. Really enjoyed that, and I've got a 
next year take some uh, take a lot more time off so I can actually come up and spend more than a day uh, with each relative okay so we're leaving Laxey Laxey, Laxley um, we're heading back to Tarbert bit of Sunday dinner uh, early bed tonight because I've got to get up at uh, half past four and leave the house for quarter past five uh, should start should should start getting a bit lighter in the morning um, but it will be a bit dark so it'll be uh, winter gloves on I think wearing the leathers not sure if it's going to rain or not so we'll see what happens So we're going to head back into the mountains, up and over, back to Tarbert where the port is, and then come back again, come back this way tomorrow morning, and catch the ferry from Stornoway to Ullapool. So yep, yeah, those are the mountains shrouded in mist and clouds. Yep, yeah, we're going up and over that. Just, uh, just loving all these fresh memories, making new memories with family. Amazing. Oh well, it had to happen. First rain of the trip, but. You know the weather could be different on the other side of this hill. So I'm not going to stop. But I'm not going to put weather waterproofs on. I'm just going to keep going. I mean, if it becomes an absolute downpour, then I probably will stop and put the uh, waterproofs on. But it might be a bit late at that point. Yep. Weather's very changeable. What a day, man, what a day. I've only seen a tiny bit of the island. So much more to do. I will be back. As old Arnold Schwarzenegger said, the Terminator, I will be back. Hold my beer. Run! Get to the chopper. Absolutely stunning. So that hill, that right over there in the distance. Yep, that's where we're going. I'm pretty much coasting along in sixth gear here. Now I don't know if this is a lock or if it's open to the sea. Or if it's just like fresh water. Oh, I can see the. I think it's salt water because it looks like there's a. Yeah, the sea's low, so I reckon it's a tide. Yeah, definitely that's seawater. There's definitely a tide down there. Because you can see the beach where all the rocks and stones are. They're all. Uh, they're all exposed, so the tide's out. All coming in, all going out. Either way. Bike's still running great. Almost a thousand miles now. Kind of forgotten how many times I've stopped for fuel, but let's have a quick look at the odometer. Okay, we're up to 6,849 on the bike. Nine, uh, 982 on the trip. So I reckon by the time we get to Olapool, yeah, we'll break we'll break 1,000 miles before we get to Stornoway actually.
Okay, we're heading up into the mountains. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna have to get a breakfast on the boat tomorrow anyway, so I'll probably have a, uh, a sausage bacon back or something like that, or maybe have a full breakfast, I don't know. Depends how much, I never looked at the breakfast prices, so they might be reasonable. I do want to get a Scottish pin though, so I think I will actually buy a pin and attach it to my uh, my leathers. <laughs> I mean, it's not raining, raining at the moment. It's more like spitting. Maybe it's part of the cloud. GoPro is still going. Oh, didn't even say hello, that guy. Not as though there's lots of bikers on the mountains or in uh, the Hebrides. See, over there in the distance, you can see that island basked in sunlight and sunshine. And a little bit on the peninsula here as well. But Maruni was telling me that they've just had rain here for days and days and days and days. And today's the first day where it's been relatively clear. I'm sure all the tourists appreciate that. So we're going all the way down there. And around and up again. Oop. Loose road surface, so careful. Are we going down there? Or are we going through the pass over there? Actually, I think we're going through the pass over there. Don't know. Either way, we'll find out in a few minutes. Yeah, I definitely need to come back and explore the island's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be it's funny how we are, the mind plays tricks on you distances and size and whatnot. it's hopefully she should sleep well tonight I don't want to stay up too late because I've got to get up half past four. I can't complain too much because the, the ferry gets into Ullapool about nine o'clock. Um, and that gives me, I think it'll take me about nine hours to do the north coast down to Inverness, maybe a little bit less. Depends how often I stop. I mean, obviously, I'm going to be stopping for fuel at some point, and then I'll be stopping uh, at John O'Groats to do the uh, obligatory picture. Absolutely breathtaking scenery. Yeah, definitely going to wear the winter gloves on the way out in the morning. I can really feel the cold in my fingers now. Got to carry on. Stop! Carry on!
Boom. Boom. That's lovely. What a view, what a view, what a view. Wow, 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 wow. Crikey, blimey, Charlie, my God. I'm cold, but I don't give a shit. Wow, look at that. Alright, keep your eyes on the road, Max. Stop looking over there. I can't, I can't, I gotta keep videoing. This is a steep old hill, this one. Watch out for the sheep. Bandits at 11 o'clock. Daka, daka, daka. Oh, look at that, sun. Good luck pronouncing that one. Are we coming into Tarbot? Well, apparently then, when it's like bad storms and stuff like that, the water can come up like 30, 40 feet when it's really, really bad. And there's a few houses down here that were flooded. Apparently a family died. Uh, Marina was telling me this morning. And like where we were walking this morning, I'm just thinking, my God, the sea was up this high. So over there by the school. So you can see the school over there. So those houses to the right of it, the water, the sea level was up that high. And that would have flooded the, you know, the football pitch over there. Must have been a hell of a storm to raise the sea level that high. Alright. We're here. And the battery's still going. What time is it? Ten to six. Okay. The sun is shining. Wow, must have been a beautiful day here in Talbot.
McQueen Street, Steve McQueen.